Hey, Miss Gia's class and Miss Krista's class. Welcome to your history lesson for this week. Now, we've talked a little bit about royalty. Remember, royalty are the people in the family of the king and queen. You learned a little bit about Queen Elizabeth I. And now we're going to talk about an important event which happened when Queen Elizabeth I was queen. So this is a very big battle or a very big event that happened and it was really important for Queen Elizabeth to do the right thing, to make good choices so her country, England, would win this event. This is called the Spanish Armada. Spanish Armada. And it's when Spain sent some ships on the sea to try to attack England. Spain wanted to take over England. But England said, no, 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 no. We do not want to be part of Spain. And so they fought with Spain. We're going to watch a video that's going to talk a little bit more about the Spanish Armada, and I'm going to explain on the map the exact path that the ships took. All right, so let's get started with this video. It says, on the 30th of May, 1588, the Spanish Armada set sail from Lisbon. Do you guys know where Lisbon is? In what country is Lisbon? It's in Portugal. Yeah. So the Spanish Armada, all the boats, they leave from Lisbon and they start to go up to get to England. As they sailed past the Isles of Scilly, I don't know how you pronounce that, Scilly, they were spotted and fire beacons were lit to send the alarm to London. So as the boats were going by, there were people on the land who saw the boats. And in 1588, there was no cell phone, there was no internet, but they needed to communicate. So to communicate, they put fire in these big lamps. These big, um, I don't know what they're called, maybe like a big basket, so that someone across the river could see. And so they sent this message all the way across until it got to London. So if someone saw the fire, they knew, okay, they are coming. I see fire, it is an alarm, they are coming. So this is what I mean when I say they put fire in like a basket and this was the signal, the alarm, that other people could see. And then they passed the alarm to someone else. That was their communication. So this was extra information. There was a man, Sir Francis Drake, and he was playing a game with his friends, and he saw the Armada, and he knew it was not good, but he didn't finish, or he didn't leave 
the game until it was finished. He didn't want to stop playing. Was that a good idea? Do you think it would have been better if he had finished his game early to go give the alarm? I don't know, we'll see. On the 6th of August, Medina Sidonia, the Spanish commander, anchored his fleet at Calais. Calais. That is a place in what country? Do you know where Calais is? It is in France. Yeah, it's in France. So he anchored his fleet. What does it mean when we anchor our fleet? What are we talking about? Well, an anchor is the big, heavy metal piece on a boat that you drop into the water so your boat does not move. That is your anchor. And the fleet is the name for the group of ships. The fleet. The English fleet attacked. What is fleet? Do you remember? Right, a fleet is the group of boats. The English fleet attacked. To break up the Spanish fleet's defenses and cause panic, the English commanders sent in eight fire ships. What is a fire ship? It's exactly what it sounds like. A fire ship is a ship that is on fire and they send it to the other boat so it passes the fire. So it's for defense, to protect the country. So their boat is on fire, no people are on the boat. They send the boat, and then they make the other boat of the enemy catch on fire as well. When the Spanish fled from Calais, the English attacked them. So the Spanish boats are being destroyed. They are on fire. And the Spanish want to leave. They say, oh, this was a bad idea. Let's go home. I am finished with this plan. But the English are not finished. They want to attack. So they follow the Spanish out of Kalai. Eventually, the battle was won by the English. So the English showed that they were really powerful and they beat the Spanish. But the Spanish could not return to Spain through the English Channel because the English sailors were blocking it. So 
Spain, I will show you on the map after. But the Spanish army wanted to just go back the way they came from. But England said, no, 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 no. You will not pass through here. So instead of going back the short way, the Spanish army had to go all the way up and around the long way. They had to sail around Scotland. They had to go all the way up and then come down. <laughs> As they were sailing around Scotland, there was a terrible storm, and many of the men drowned. So there was probably thunder and lightning and big waves, and a lot of the men, they died. Some were lost to starvation. Do you guys know what starvation is? When you're really, 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 really hungry, like so, so, so hungry, you say, I'm starving. Starvation is when you don't have any food to eat. Not just for one day, not for two days, but for a week or two weeks. They were so hungry, they even ate ropes. Can you imagine? They were so hungry on the boat, the Spanish army, that they would eat the ropes from the boat because they had no food. Only half of the 130 ships that left Spain returned. So originally, when the Spanish left from Lisbon, you remember they left from Lisbon to sail up, they left with 130 ships. But after all of the fighting and all of the traveling down past Scotland, they came back with half of that number. So what is half? Let's see. Um, with 65? With only 65 ships. So they started with 130 ships in the fleet. And when they came back, there were only 65 ships in the fleet. So they had a very difficult time. It was not a successful plan. Okay, so what we're going to look at now is a map, and this map shows us all of the important places that the Spanish Armada sailed. So they started down here, leaving from over here, this is Portugal on the side. So they were leaving from Portugal. Let me get my magic pen so I can draw. Oops. Ooh, but maybe I can't make it bigger. All right. You guys will have to follow my mouse, okay? So here are the ships of the Spanish Armada. And they're sailing and they're sailing and they're sailing and they're sailing. And they pass through here, and this is where the English saw the Armada arriving. So the Armada is sailing, and the ships go by here, and the English, because see, all of this is England, they're standing here, and they say, oh, What's that? Is that a ship? That looks like a ship. We should set an alarm. We should say, hey, the Spanish are coming. 
So they set this alarm. And then here we start to get to the English Channel. This part of water is called the English Channel. So the English come and they follow the Spanish ships into the Channel. And then here is Calais, where the Spanish, they anchored their fleet, remember? They stopped their boats here. And look what we have. Remember what happened? They send the fireboats, the English send the fireboats to attack the Spanish because they see that they are stopped in Calais. So they say, ah, okay, now is time to attack. And they sent the fire ships. Then the Spanish, they say, okay, no, 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 time to go home. I am done. I don't like this plan. And remember, I said they wanted to go back because, look, it's very short to go back this way. But in the English Channel, the English boats said, no, you cannot pass. You cannot go back. You have to continue going forward. And so, look, they had to go all the way up, all the way up, 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 around Scotland. Here is Scotland. Up, 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 over, 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 and what do we have here? Remember, there were the storms. So, it was very difficult for the Spanish to get back to Spain after their plan failed. Okay? So, important things to remember, friends, is the Spanish Armada is the name for the fight between what two countries? We have the Spanish and we have the English. Those are the two countries that are fighting. And who is the winner of this fight? That's right, England. England shows that they are very powerful, that they have a really good navy or a fleet of boats. They have really good boats. And it's important for Queen Elizabeth the first because she is the queen in the time of the Spanish Armada. So she is the one that directs the army and the navy. She says, go out in your boats, put fire on the boats. You cannot lose. You have to be victorious, be brave. Queen Elizabeth I was very, very brave. And she did a very good job organizing her country to protect it. So, friends, that is the story of the Spanish Armada, which happened in 1588. Don't forget, it was two countries, Spain and England. England beat Spain. And Spain lost many, many, many people and many boats because they had to go around Scotland and there were storms. So now, in your history book, let me show you what you're going to do. You have on page 21 four pictures four pictures about the Spanish Armada. And up here you have some words that are important in this story of the Spanish Armada. You have king, because the king of Spain is the one who said, I want to attack England. So it was the idea of the king of Spain. You have ship, Spain, Spanish Armada, Battle, Attack, Elizabeth, and 1588, that year when the Spanish Armada happened. So with these four pictures, I want you to write a sentence for each picture talking about what happened. If you need, you can watch this video again or you can look up some other resources with mom or dad. Okay? But I'd like you to try and write one sentence for each picture using the words from this box.
plus other words, obviously. But these words can help you to think of a sentence. All right? I will see you guys tomorrow in Zoom. I hope you had a great weekend. I can't wait to hear about it. Take care. Bye.